Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Hi everyone, uh, so far we have uh, completed uh, Selenium IDE in our syllabus, uh, let me look into syllabus. Yeah, we have completed to this point. Uh, now we have discussed about uh, automation testing and uh, components of Selenium like Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium WebDriver and Grid. So we have completed Selenium IDE. So we have completed this and today we are starting with installation of Selenium, uh, installation of uh, uh, Selenium WebDriver. Okay, for this basically we need setting up Eclipse. Okay, before setting up Eclipse, uh, we need to make sure that uh, we need to make sure that uh, now we have to install uh, Java and all. Yeah, these documents will help you in that. Uh, Nita, I think this is the fourth class. Uh, no, if you look, no, this is the fifth class. If you look into these things, we are done with uh, four classes. Uh, actually, those are like uh, basics of uh, Selenium, like uh, which talks about Selenium IDE. I know we will share the links for these videos. Go through that. Okay. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask. But to, from today, uh, from today onwards, actually we are uh, discussing uh, important points. I mean, um, the main core of Selenium. So far, actually, it all basics of uh, Selenium, and which are not much important, uh, you know, in terms of a real in a real time uh, real time work. Okay. Yeah, definitely, I will share these links, or you can just find with uh, HTK. I think I don't have your email ID. You just ask HTK. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, now we are going to discuss about uh, Selenium WebDriver installation. Okay, we already discussed about this uh, you know, installing Selenium IDE, installing Firebug. Okay, now uh, now first we have to install Java before we want to set up Eclipse. Okay, uh, let me explain uh, again in higher level picture how it goes. Yeah, as I said, uh, now Selenium has some components. Selenium IDE, Selenium, the driver, or the world version, RC, and Selenium grid. Okay, so Selenium IDE, we know that it is a Firefox plugin. Okay, so we will install this plugin and uh, we'll record and here we'll record 
replay and export right so we know that we can export this particular script that we have created here so we can export into any of desired language like uh, C sharp Java Python and all okay so when you export into desired language actually say export it into C sharp or you export it into uh, Java okay so basically here why we are exporting we are exporting to enhance it okay say here uh, we are exported to Java so when we want to export this Java file this Java file we need to have something called editor okay when we want to enhance in web driver selenium web driver we need editor okay try to understand this so when we need editor if it is a Java we need Java editor okay if it is a C sharp if we export into C sharp and if you want to work on C sharp language we need C sharp editor okay if it is a python we need python editor okay so for java editor uh, you know we have a most famous tool called eclipse okay so eclipse is the java editor which is mainly used for java okay similarly c sharp editor is nothing but actually uh, there is something called dot net studio Okay, .NET Studio it is the editor which will be used for C Sharp. Okay, similarly for Python, Ruby, there will be some editors. Just you know when you Google, you know for there will not be a single editor. Okay, there will be so many editors available for Python, Ruby, even for Java editor. You know most famous tool is Eclipse. There is something called IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, this is uh, you no know, only some set of people know this. Okay, this is another editor that will be used for Java. Okay, so these were the two editors available for Java, and uh, you no know, for .NET, uh, uh, you know, for C sharp we have this editor. For Python, Ruby, there are so many open source, uh, you no know, free tools available for editors. Okay, so as we want to enhance our script in Java we are going to install Java editor which is nothing but Eclipse okay so we are going to install Eclipse however you know Eclipse is something like editor but you uh, know as we are exported into the Java there will be some uh, you know we have to install Java on our machine okay Java is a again uh, it's a executable uh, file first we have to install Java then only this Eclipse uh, you know, work. I mean, uh, you know, the scripts that we have created under Eclipse will work using this Java. Okay. So first we have to install Java. Then we have to install Eclipse so that we can enhance our script here. Okay. So that we can enhance our uh, you know, Selenium script here. Okay. However, Eclipse is uh, purely for uh, you know Java projects Java, you, know, you can create Java programs over, over here so if you want to create a Selenium script we have to configure try to underline this point you now we have to configure Selenium web driver or Selenium if you, if you are using Selenium RC you have to configure Selenium RC related files to this Eclipse okay if you are working on uh, Selenium web driver you know, we, are, we, are, we will configure Selenium web driver related files to Eclipse. Okay. Here we will configure the Selenium web driver files to Eclipse. Okay. And Selenium grid, again, it is a concept which is nothing, uh, which is uh, again part of uh, you know, Selenium web driver only. Okay. Again, uh, Selenium grid is not an extra tool. This will also work in Eclipse itself. Okay. So, as I said, So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.